Hi, my name is Tanman 321 go and I'm bringing you another Minecraft video tutorial and this is going to be how to use realms. So if you are new to it and you want to know how to use it, I'm going to teach you how in this video. Now, these are different realms that I have been invited to. This is my current realm. This is the one that I bought from Mojang and I pay a monthly subscription for it. Now, anybody that I invite to this, they do not have to pay. So, I'm just going to hop on really quick by clicking play. And it'll just take a second for this to load. But it's really nice because this service, it, it, it runs pretty good. I, I have to give Mojang props for it because you feel very, I don't know, you feel okay using Mojang's services. So, yes, this is, my friends can join me on this. And they do not have to pay a cent. Only I have to pay a cent. Now I'm going to configure some settings here. I'll show you again. I clicked this. <laughs> I clicked this. Configure realm. And now these are my three world slots. And it only runs one at a time. I am currently using this test world. This was my uh, other world that I, my first world that I was running. This was my second world because I had a couple seasons that I did. This is my third world. Now, this is the one that you just saw. It was kind of messy. We'll just say that. So, I want to reset it. You know, I want a whole new world. So, I am going to do reset world. It says this will delete your realm's current world. Now, I can either choose to create a new world, upload a world from my single player worlds, so if I've been just playing single player, I can upload it using this. If I want to play an adventure map, I can do that. Or I can choose like survival spawns. This seems new. Oh yes, so these are... I, I'm guessing Mojang has updated this so you can click one of these. Let me just click this. Select. Now it's going to reset the world so I can use one of these cool little preset things. Which I don't think are always too bad. You can get some cool ones. Now if you just want to use a regular Minecraft world. Like just starting fresh. We can uh, do that as well. So this is resetting. Alright. So now we got a new world. So I'm going to double click on this. And here we go. It's as simple as that. We got a new world in this in this thing now the other world that I just had in is no longer there so I just pretty much erased it now you can do world backups so I'm going to show you I'm going to disconnect go to configure again and let's see so if we do world backups I can I can use this is like how long it's been since I've backed up the world but it automatically does these little things for me so you can do download latest, or let's say you're on this one, and your friend just griefed you, or something, just messed up your world. You'd be like, oh, I want to go before he messed it up. So I'm going to click restore on this one. So you can click that, and it'll load it, and you'll be all good there. Now, I can also switch to a different world. So I switch to, or no, one more thing I want to show. If I do this. I can just do a new world and you can create uh, a world seed. You can choose how it's generated right here. And then you click reset world and that will start, you know, just your ran randomly new generated world. Adventure maps, they're kind of like I guess the survival spawn. They they're pretty cool. They got diversity uh which is like a puzzle type challenge map. Yeah, there's like some different ones here. So I'm not going to worry about that. You guys can explore that. What I do want to do, what I do want to do, is go to world options. And here you can name your world. So it is test right now. Let me do great. No, awesome. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to click done. And you see it's changed to awesome. Awesome. Now that did not change the name of this. Uh, realm itself just this world so if I go to settings up here 
I can change the realm name. And the realm description, I just have it as friends. So, and you can also close your realm. So if we click that, it says your realm will become unavailable. So if I say yes, it's going to close the realm. And then no, like none of my friends can play on it. But I'm not going to do that because why would I want to close it? So I'm just going to click cancel. Now, my subscription. This is where it shows me how many days I have left. I have 29 days left. So, yeah, this is the date that it's at. So once that runs out, I can't play on the realm anymore unless I renew my subscription. Now, players. These are all the people that I got on this realm. So if I wanted to say invite, oh, uh, we'll just say, we'll say B00. We'll see. B00. No, B00. 100. If I invite that player, there he is. And I can I could play with or he could play with me he, because he just got an invite. I'm going to remove just because yeah. You can have up to twenty players on a realm. That's how many you can invite up to. I think or I think only twenty players can play on realms at a time. But you could probably invite even more. I'm not really for sure. Oh my realm is down. Okay. Open Realm. There we go. Now we got a green light. Now, World Options. This is where you can change the game mode. So we can change it to Creative. It's on Peaceful. Adventure Survival. Creative. You can change the difficulty. We can have Monsters spawn or have them off. You can, if you're messing with Command Blocks, you want to make sure this is ticked to on. Spawn protection, you could have a, a radius of so many blocks. Something like that. And what else? Force game mode. Yeah. Not really for sure what that does. Maybe just forces a game mode to have. Now, let us switch worlds. So I'm going to switch to this world so that we don't have to keep using this one. So what I'm going to do is click on this. Your realm will be switched to another world. Are you sure you want to do this? We say yes. Cuz after we do that, I'm going to double click on it. And this is actually my season 2 of realms that I've had. Oh, and please please don't ask me to invite you because so many people I have to, I have to tell so many people no just because I can't invite everybody. So, yes, but this is Oh yeah, that's Noah's Ark. Not really. I just made it similar so this is my oh, this is an amplified world by the way i haven't played on this forever Ooh. but yeah so my friends can join me here and so yeah that's how i that's how i switch worlds now let's check out another thing i can even switch to this world now if you do not want if you just want these to be blank they are never actually going to be blank so i'm going to switch to this world again World awesome. Once this loads, then I'm going to uh, reset it. So you know it was like that one preset world that we chose. I'm going to switch it to a different one. There we go. Now, reset world. I just want to do a new world. I type in the seed here. I can do reset world. And that will reset my world that I currently had. If I do upload world, let's do this one. This That was from my single players, single player worlds. So it's gonna take a moment and make sure if you are uploading a world from your single player worlds that is, does not exceed 500 megabytes because if that happens, you won't be able to upload it. So it is done. And now let's just join it. This was just one of my single-player worlds that I was playing on. Usually doesn't take too long to connect. All right. That is loud. Chicago. So, yes, this is my single-player world, uh, creative world that I've done things on. And, yes, my, my friends can join me here as well. 
that's another nice thing is you can download like custom maps and stuff and then you could upload them to your realm and then your friends can use them I mean play on them with you I believe I've I did something a long time ago I made this huge soccer field yes but besides that you guys want to know about realms now let us see this says no pending invites so I would click this and I can see invites that people send to me so let's say let's say you know I just invited B double O oh and another thing is player activity you can see how long I've been playing for by right here player activity so you can see who's been playing on your realm but anyways let's say I've invited B double O once I send them an invite then excuse me then he is going to get a notification right here and he'll see my invite and he'll just click accept and then he can play on my realm now let's say I don't want I want to give some more privileges to people who I am more comfortable with overlooking the server something like that like you can see I have uh, an operator this is my bro Thatchroid he's the only operator I got on the realm so he can actually do I think console commands in the game so or I guess commands not that he would just in case something were to happen and I wasn't there he could do it otherwise he can no longer do it but I'll keep him an operator so yes and mini game let's switch to a mini game let's do this now one second I want to look at settings yeah that's a thought okay let's go to a mini game I haven't done this yet half heart race but I'm gonna do I'll do diamond defender I'm gonna select that it's kinda cool because what it does is you can switch your main realm to a mini game and you don't have to worry about it messing up your realm at all because you can just switch back so that's a nice thing with realms is you can just switch back and forth with mini games and don't have to worry about it so it says current so yeah we switched to a mini game we're currently on diamond defender so if I double click to join this it will connect us and then yeah me and my friends we could play diamond defender what it, it said something oh maybe I need one more player no start game and now we can play a mini game with our friends and make sure that this creeper does not blow up these diamonds so yeah I hope that helped you guys and try to answer any comments if you guys have them but hopefully you understood it and it is currently $9.99 a month USA dollars for a subscription otherwise if you have it doing automatic subscriptions then it's going to just bill you or you're going to pay for realms every month and when you do that it's going to charge you less but I don't put it at automatic so I just have it for manual so I just do one month yeah subscriptions so that's how we do that and yeah so I, I, do, I don't want to switch or I don't want to use this mini game anymore so I want to go back to this world oops there we go switching world and it's fairly fairly quick in between switching worlds but they have like updated this stuff so yeah I'm currently using Minecraft 1.8.9 so once 1.9 comes out that should be it should be pretty much the same so no worries there world options yeah that's what you get world backups I can choose a different backup if I want and yeah it's it's pretty cool so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you please if you did enjoy it please comment like subscribe and share this video 
with the ones that you love. And yeah, please let me know if this helped you. And if it was more clear, I have a much better microphone this time recording a Realms tutorial than I did the last time. So, yes, I hope that this was really helpful for you guys starting out doing a new realm. And if you did not understand something, just replay the video and make sure that I covered everything. So, I'm pretty sure I did. But yes, I'll see you guys next time.